Um, hello, good morning. We're almost to the holiday season and we're at our final coffee talk with the doc for the year. Who is excited? Who's terrified? Who's ready for some exciting immune support? This is round two from last week our coffee talk with the doc. So if you didn't watch that, make sure you head back to last week's live on our YouTube channel, Dr. Katie Wilson, the natural pet doctor. Now today, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I'm Dr. Katie Woodley, founder and holistic veterinarian of the natural pet doctor. And in this week's coffee talk with the doc, I'm breaking down some of the supplements that I recommend, the brands that I use. We've been talking a lot about supplements, how to choose high quality, and breaking down some that I personally use and that I also recommend for my patients and use for my own pets too. Now, there are so many out there. There's no way I could cover all of them, but I wanted to go through a presentation so you can refer back to it and check out our resources. I included some links down below if you're following along on YouTube. So if you're not, just make sure you go to the YouTube channel, Dr. Katie Woodley, The Natural Pet Doctor. There's a lot of great resources and guides to help you with the dosing and the brands and all the things that I recommend. Good morning, Loranda and Lisa and Nazi. It's so great to see you all here. So what I'm going to do is let's get started with our presentation because there's quite a few things that we want to go through. Now, keep in mind, you have a pen and paper. We're going to cover some of the basic foundations. I did go more in depth last week during our last coffee talk with the talk. Uh, so you can always go back to that, but we always want to come back to what those foundations are. Now, we're going to be talking about the top immune boosting supplements. And when I talk about boosting, we're going to like boost that immune system and create health issues. We're going to be talking about what are the things that are going to modulate, help calm down, or provide a little um when we need it and we're feeling a bit under the weather. And so as a disclaimer, you can go through and read and read this. Uh, I this is all for educational purposes. Whenever you're using new supplements or changing the protocols for your pets, especially and for yourself, because I am going to cover some human stuff. If you are using these, make sure you talk to your veterinarian or your human doctor, especially if you yourself or your pets are on medication. That's really, really important. So where do we start? And I can see you guys, my voice is going in and out. I don't know if it's my internet. Hang in there. It's being recorded. So hopefully the recording will be okay. Um, but just keep me posted, guys, in the comments. So thank you for letting me know. There's probably not much I can do right now because it's probably the internet being funky. It's on holiday already. But let's talk about where to start. Okay, thanks, Lori. I appreciate that. Um, where are we going to start? We need to start with the five pillars of health. These are your foundations that I want you to be thinking about for everything. Whenever you're asking the question, why am I going to use this? Why is my pet sick? Why would we do that test? We always go back to these five pillars to break it down and make it super simple for you. This is gut health and nutrition, immune health, which is the topic of conversation today, environmental health, emotional health, and physical health. They are all in a circle. They are all interconnected. So let's start with gut health and digestion. Wait, Dr. Katie, didn't you mention this is an immune health talk? Well, everything is intimately connected. And we know that at least 70% of the immune system is in the gut. So it's really important to look at what are we feeding our pets? What supplements are we using? What's the microbiome we're doing? Do we have inflammation? Because that can aggravate or over stimulate an immune system that then can weaken it, make it more susceptible. If you do come across things like germs or bacteria, whereas if we have a strong, healthy system that starts from the gut, we're less likely to get sick because our ecosystem is strong. Now, who here plans on eating foods that you probably don't eat year round? And drop it in the comment box, like a thumbs up, like if you're going to take in any alcohol, foods, treats, 
snacks, things that are super, super tasty, but bodies may not be used to. And I want you to be thinking about your pets too. A lot of times we get them these like Christmas gifts or holiday gifts. As I see you, you're not alone. I'm there too. So being aware of these things, I'm not saying to not do them because hopefully 80%, 90% of the time we're, we're doing, I won't say the right thing, but the healthiest option. And so if you know this is going to happen, this is where, Diane, I see you too. I appreciate it. Lisa, I'll be putting my body to the brink. A lot of people do, and we wake up with like food hangovers, alcohol hangovers. Our New Year's, we're like, we're going to break, we're going to rock. Before and you have no energy, and you're like, oh, it's a new year. It is so common. But when you prep the body and you give it support because we know it's going to need some extra support during this semester, you can wake up feeling awesome, and so can your pets. So, handling rich foods, there's a couple problems. Remember, this is not all inclusive. I do love standard process because of whole foods, the glandulars, the way they source. I've been out to their farm personally, the organic regenerative farming that they do. Um, so they are super transparent. I really, really like them. I use them myself. I use them in a lot of my patients. And I see a lot of results, including for myself. I feel much better. So there's going to be a couple things here. Standard process, Zypan. I use this on a lot of pets, too. There's a couple people here where I know that they're also using these for their pets. I personally take this. This has digestive enzymes. It has hydrochloric acid to help. I see you guys. Thank you. I'm going to keep going, hoping that the recording is not going to be as in and out. It's the dang internet. It's the holidays. So I appreciate you guys. Let me know when it clears up. But Zypan is really important to help break down different proteins, help optimize the pH of the stomach and the intestinal tract. And then we also have standard process beta food. This is really helpful for liver and gallbladder decongestants. And when we think about eating these rich foods, these fatty foods, we have major issues a lot of times with our gallbladder and bile production. This is the time of year for mucus seals. We don't want emergency gallbladder surgery, so we can use supplements and even foods like your beetroot, which is a big part of beta food, to help mobilize and thin out the bile. Now, if we have acid reflux symptoms or heartburn, this is where we can use this for both our dogs, our cats, and for us, where we can use teas. Teas are really simple and easy to use for all of us, including our pets, where we can use chamomile and ginger and peppermint. We can also use standard process high pep. This is your DGL, uh, your deglycerized licorice, chamomile, metasweet to really help soothe and help with bloating and gas. For pets, Thinking about that digestive health, we talk a lot about this. We have an entire Better Gut Health Masterclass on our YouTube channel. So make sure you check that out if you have it. We need to support that healthy microbiome using foods called prebiotics that feed the good bacteria, supporting digestion. So once again, going back to those enzymes, digestive enzymes, putting a proper pH, and then using products like standard process, feline and cane to care for support and even using some of the foods that I've listed here. Now, immune health. Remember, this is part of those five pillars of health. We want to know about what are the stressors that are potentially creating resistance to the immune health. So things like chemical, vaccines, flea and tick products, stressors are big time problems this time of year. Now, you might think like, I want you to think like a dog. How to handle stress like a dog. Can I get a thumbs up if you resonate with this? If you can't eat it or play with it, pee on it and walk away. Well, boundaries. It's okay to have boundaries, especially during the holiday season. You don't have to go to all the Christmas events, holiday parties, especially if your cup's not full. Take care of yourself. And so how do we support improving the immune health? This is where looking at all of those pillars of health and then using supplements to fill in the gap. Your supplements are not a foundation. They are filling in the gaps. So these are some of the supplements that we can use to fill in the gaps nutritionally and support the systems so they work efficiently and they work optimally. There's definitely something going on. I think it's with the internet. So I appreciate you guys. <laughs> it is what it is. We're trying our best over here. So uh, 
looking up. I'm not sure. There you go. Lisa, great. If you watch on, I love that. Watch without sound and you should get subtitles. Yeah, click the little subtitles and you should be able to hear it. Thank you, Lisa. Maybe that'll work. Let me know if it does. Um, at least you'll have the slides to reference back to. So this is where canine and feline immune support from standard process it has a lot of great angulars and whole foods and things like mushrooms, adrenal glands, uh, your buckwheat, it's not overstimulating and it's not suppressing. So if you have a pet that has an immune system disorder or an autoimmune disease, you can still use these. There's also Immuplex that's for humans or large dogs that helps make it more cost effective. And then I love the brand Real Mushrooms and Five Defenders especially during this time of year. If you're experiencing respiratory active concerns, we talked a lot about the respiratory illness in dogs that's going around the U.S. This is where standard process contraplex can be really, really helpful. And then also to using your pneumotropin PMG that is blocked out for some reason, uh, but that was talked about in our respiratory talk. So definitely check that out. Now, this is a really good one to have on hand, especially if you're thinking about drinking alcohol. Now, pets do not give them alcohol during this time of year, but black currant seed oil, this contains the fatty acid, uh, gamma linolenic acid. And this is where we tend to think about only omega-3s. And there's so many other essential fatty acids that are really important to look at. This is going to support the body's normal tissue repair process, normal blood flow. So when I think about using this, it's for inflammatory states. So when we have inflammation, dry skin, think about those dry, crusty dog noses. This is a great one. If you know you're going to be taking in alcohol, this is great for hangovers. So I'm not saying you should drink so much you have a hangover, but you can use this to help create more resilience for your body. And then, of course, immune system support and fat metabolism. Now, for people, if you're on or you need to take an anti-inflammatory drug like aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol, do not give those to your pets. But a lot of people are on them. And because of the pathway that black currant seed oil works on, it actually promotes a prostaglandin 1 pathway. This can really help at reducing the amount of drugs that you use that can create things like acid, like ulcers that can create vitamin mineral deficiencies. So definitely check this out. I highly, highly recommend it. I use it myself too, just for general support. Now, some other things for pets that you want to look at, once again, Real Mushrooms has an immune product. It also adds in uh, Western herbs like ashwagandha, astragalus, olive leaf. These are really helpful for supporting the immune system, but also so for supporting those adrenal glands because we know that stress and everything comes together. Some of the other brands too, Wolf Creek is another one that's a great one to check out. Solutions Pet has some great herbal blends that you can add into the food, into the diet. And then Animal Essential Super Immune is another great brand that I recommend and use a lot uh, for my own pets and patients. Now, a lot of people love doing DIY and elderberries. So making an elderberry syrup or using the tea is really helpful, especially when you are worried about active infection or using just as a gentle immune support. Uh, so the other thing too is your echinacea. And this is where there's a couple of brands out there. Once again, Standard Process has an echinacea product that utilizes two different types of echinacea plants. This is going to help enhance the health of the immune system. So if you're looking for products, it's nice to look for products that contain a combination of different Western herbs or Chinese herbs or other nutraceuticals to and then also, if you have any upper respiratory issues, echinacea is really helpful. It helps with dry, scratchy throats. Now, it's not meant to be used long term. So this is one where we use it for that period of time that we need it. And then we would then stop it. Now, how you deal with stress. We always think everyone's like meditating, yoga, journaling. Yes, those are great things to do. Highly, highly recommend them. But you may be resonating with the second picture. Anyone here like resonate with the, the second picture? Your thumb up. Now let's talk about emotional stress because this can just wreck everything else that you are doing. You'd be feeding the best quality food. There, you could be doing all the things right, but if stress is not tapped, like dialed back in, we're going to have a problem. So we need to make sure you're taking care of you first. Go back to the last week's 
recording on our YouTube channel, Dr. Katie Woodley, the natural pet doctor. Now we can use calming teas also. So chamomile, lavender, skullcap, passion flower are really helpful. St. John's wort is in a lot of products. You need to be careful with St. John's wort because it works on a certain pathway in the liver, the CYP450 pathway that metabolizes a lot of different drugs. So if you're taking drugs or your pet's on medications, we wanna be careful, make sure you're talking to your health practitioner. Also, Feline Essentials is a great brand by Jay and Adrian, the two crazy cat ladies. Um, so if you have a cat that's stressed during this time of year, are using their Cat Calm product, which combines a lot of different nutraceuticals in together to help provide calmness to an overactive immune system, but stress levels. Also, standard process Mintex helps when we're stuck in the fight or flight or a sympathetic dominant nervous system. So it has a bunch of different organically bound minerals, calcium lactate. It's also going to help with the way nutrients are being moved in between cells. And a lot of times we end up getting rigid cell membranes and things can't pass through and our immune system takes a beating and that's when we get sick. And you can use this for both pets and people. So when I would use Minchex for a pet, this is where they're kind of like on edge. They're a little bit reactive. And this can take that down a notch because we're providing the body what it needs to soothe and calm an overactive sympathetic nervous system. And then we need to be thinking about detoxification. We are surrounded by toxins. We have to support the detox pathways. I find that many pet, pet well-meaning pet parents use only milk thistle. And we need to balance phase one, phase two, the elimination phases of detoxification. So fresh foods can be used. These are things like broccoli sprouts, your cruciferous vegetables, glandulars like liver. There's a lot of great brands also too, like Gutsy Guts, Green Juju, that make it super easy for a busy pet parent where they have fermented green products. So you can just pull that out and add that into your pet's food for additional support. And then we use supplements once again to help fill in those gaps to optimize, especially during this time of year when we may be taking in more toxins and eating some of the foods that aren't as clean as we're used to. This is where pet products also, like if you're getting like those so cute little cakes and treats and snacks for them, right, as gifts, or you're getting gifts from family and friends. I always say, look at the ingredient list of ingredient list if you're like, ooh, I don't know about that, especially if your pet is prone to GI issues, skin issues, do not give it to them. I promise like that it's hard, right? We have a gift, but it can make things a lot more stressful for you if we create a flare up of those conditions. But some of the brands that I use and I like and I trust and I see results with are going to be Adored Beast, their liver tonic, Vera Pets is another one that uses organic herbs. It's very transparent about their sourcing. Standard process, feline and canine hepatic support. Your Dr. Mercola, they're now called Bark and Whiskers. Those are some great products. Their detox support. And then, of course, solution pet products. Uh, they have that immune product there. They have the detox. So they're going to combine those different Western herbs so that you can use it as a topper in the food. Now, for yourself, because we tend to eat ourselves to death during this time of year with all the foods and stress and not sleeping well and all the things, make sure that we are incorporating some of these because we need to help get those toxins out. We need to bind to them with binders. So things like zeolites, monopolites, humic fulvic acid, uh, ion gut is a great other one that I didn't mention here, but your standard process GI absorb is using things like those zeolites that are binders to help bind the toxins so they don't get recirculated back into the body. And then, of course, Standard Process Lived In Complex is just one of many different uh, supplement companies that combines these herbs that dandelion, milk thistle, blue fern, fringe tree, globe artichoke that are working on phase one and phase two to help convert toxins into a water-soluble form and then remove them out of the body. So for myself, I tend to use these two together because your live tank complex is helping process the toxins. And then once those toxins are out in the gut or they're going through the kidneys, that GI absorb is going to bind and help get them out. So we don't want them getting recirculated. Very, very important, commonly missed area and step that then leads us to staying inflamed or our pets staying inflamed and you feeling stuck and frustrated. 
And then one of the things I did want to mention, because beginning of the year, I went to be fully transparent through a period of time where I had this upper respiratory thing that I couldn't pick. I remember if you guys were with me at the beginning of the year for our coffee talks, my voice was kind of crackly. It was like, ah, I can't get over this. And I had this cough and I would just start coughing. And I was like, I don't smoke. I've never smoked. What the heck? This is ridiculous. And I actually use this immune system health pack. Now for everyone here, take a look at it, do your own research, do what you feel best with, but this helped me get over it because they combine different types of herbs nutraceuticals, vitamins, minerals, and an easy to absorb form. And what it did is it worked on different parts of my pathway that probably weren't open or were a little bit deficient. And so it combines like a multivitamin. Now, not your synthetic multivitamin where we think about like Centrum. No, do not do that. We want whole foods. We want glandulars. We want easily absorbable vitamins and minerals in whole food form. Cataplex F also provides certain types of a your vitamin, your B6s, and also iodine, and it's a source of essential fatty acids. This is really important to get calcium from the blood into the tissues where it's needed for our immune system to work properly. And then cataplex C, this is whole food vitamin C. Your synthetic vitamin C does not do what you think it should be doing. We need to use whole food form. Another alternative to this would be something like rose hip. Very great absorbable form of vitamin C. We need that vitamin C to help improve immune resistance, increase oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Also too with cataplex C because of some of the other foods that are in there that are packed into this, they're actually activating those adrenal glands. The adrenal glands are taking a hit during this time of year. We need to support them. And then of course, calcium lactate. This contains calcium and magnesium sources that are more bioavailable, meaning they're absorbed. And so this is really helpful at making sure those vitamins and minerals are being absorbed and they're getting to where they need to be to do what we want them to do. So really, when we think about where to start, we have to go back to those five pillars of optimal pet health. So I always want you to be thinking about what's going on with my pet's gut and my gut and the nutrition that I'm using. What's going on with our immune health? Are we doing things inadvertently or intentionally that could be creating resistance and an obstacle for our immune system working properly. And then looking at the environmental health. What are the toxins that are around us in the households, in the water, in the food, things that we might be applying that we're taking in ourselves during this time of year and what can we do to support that? And then looking at emotional health. This tends to go last for most people and we need to be thinking about what can I do to help fill up my cup so that I am managing my stress and not going into fight or flight or a sympathetic dominant state. There's so many things we can do, a couple tools, supplements, nutraceutical support. Make sure you watch last week's also to get some emotional health support too. And then looking at physical health, just because it's cold doesn't give you the excuse not to move your body. And same for our pets. This is where for our pets, if we can't go outside because it's too cold or freezing and it's just not safe, I know some people live in those kind of areas, getting puzzle toys and getting your pet's brain. For you yourself, this is where, you know, doing exercises inside. There's so many great free resources on YouTube of exercise videos, movement, yoga, doing squats is so simple, so easy, and it helps so much and it's free. You don't need any equipment for that. But physical health is really, really essential during this time of year because it is how our lymphatic system, which is a huge part of the detox pathway, actually works. If we're not moving our muscles and contracting our muscles and getting the blood flowing, you are going to have a stagnant detox pathway. And then things build up. And you're not going to feel good and you're going to wonder why. This is really, really important. Lipomas, cellulite, these are all signs that we have a sluggish detox pathway and we need to improve that physical health usually, which will improve the lymphatic system. And so some of the things to think about are, you know, making sure we're addressing the environment, implementing diet changes, or during this time of year, use the supplements to fill in the gaps and help process where we know we're not in the 80% that we normally are for the entire year. 
optimizing that gut health and really making sure you're taking care of yourself to reduce those stress levels. And this is where, as a reminder, you don't have to do all the things. Doing all the things is overwhelming to most people. Let me know if you feel overwhelmed right now. You're like, oh my God, there's so many steps. There's so many things I have to do. So my challenge for you today, as you go into the crazy, we're already there, but now we're going into you know Christmas and New Year's. I want you to think about what is the one thing that I can do? Because when you start with one thing, those small changes over time add up to big effects long term. And it's much easier for you if you're focused on one thing, creating a habit out of it, and then adding the next thing. And that new thing that you had added last week is now just a habit. It's just a routine. And it becomes easier and easier versus the overwhelm that comes that keeps you stuck from taking action. And then you end up in the same spot. And you're like, I'm going to just keep learning and I'm not going to implement anything. When you start one thing and then you just like, that didn't work right away and we give up. We have to think about all of this is all about supporting and solidifying those foundations. Supplements are filling in the gap. But when we use whole foods and nutraceuticals and herbs, there can be a time delay. And so this is why starting when with one thing and building on that, thinking about the five pillars is how you will achieve success moving into 2024. And so if you need further guidance and help, or you want a link to these, go to our YouTube channel. If you're not on there, go to the description. I included all the links for these supplements for you to check out. And if in the new year, you're like, I'm sick and tired of being on the roller coaster of not figuring this out on my own and needing support, reach out to us because we have very unique ways of helping pet parents just like yourself find the tools, find the frameworks, implement accountability to really take the action and get the support that's needed for you to really help your pet turn the corner with their help. So I hope you found that helpful. I'm sorry about the sound. Um, I'm hoping the recording comes out a little bit better. Um, hopefully the like transcript and things you were able to follow along if for some reason that was going on. But I just wanted to say thank you to each and every single one of you who is doing their best to help your pet and yourself live the best, healthiest life. You are why I do what I do. I appreciate you so much for all that you do, all that you learn, all the time that you take. And please reach out if you're feeling stuck you need guidance and help, we are here for you, whether it's through something we do or we can provide an additional resource with someone else that we feel like can help you further. So thank you so much. I hope you have a very blessed, very merry, happy holidays, and we will see you all again in the new year when we start up our coffee talks with the doc again. All right. Thank you so much. I'm Dr. Katie Woodley, the natural pet doctor. Take care.